Peter in uh, in Madras, Oregon. Great to have you. I'm glad you waited, sir. Hello. Oh, it's a great to uh, finally talk to you, Rush. It's awesome. Thank you, sir, very much. Um, I was just wanted to point out that um, the Democrat voters really don't have any candidates, and I think that they're all kind of leaning towards Trump. And I don't think it's because... Now, wait, wait, that's, know, a, that's a, hold it, hold it. That, you've lost me. This is another example. You said you don't yeah. think the Democrats have any candidates, but they do. They've got Hillary and they've got Martin O'Malley and they've got Biden and they've got uh, Bernie Sanders. And there are people excited about all of them. Um, I don't know. It just it doesn't really seem like that. I mean, it, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I always um, see the other side of it. But when I was listening to uh, Trump on 60 Minutes, he also talked about that if it, it didn't matter, it didn't, if he cost him votes, he still wanted to get uh, national health care that would work for everybody. And... I mean, along with that and his tax increases for the hedge funds and all of the other things, I think that I, I, I'm in full support. I'm a big Trump guy, and that's why I like him is because he has his own thing and he is going to do what he wants to do. So, uh, OK, so what you're doing, then you are hoping Democrats are losing interest in Hillary and Sanders and the others, and you're hoping that they will sidle up to Trump. Well, I don't. I'm not hoping. I think it's already happened, and we just don't see it yet. I think that there's so many Democrat registered Democrats that are in favor of Trump. But I could be completely wrong. I am, you know, I'm just, I'm kind well, of speculating. What, okay, hang on now. Where have you seen that? The only place well, you can I see mean, that is in polling data. Where have you seen it? Well, I mean, when you had your polling data on uh, African-American votes, I'm I think you said it was uh, 25%, 25 of them are in favor. That's yeah, 25 percent of them are in favor of Trump. That's true, and they would predominantly all of them would vote would vote uh, our Democrat do vote Democrat, right? So you think it's even bigger than that? Well, I think it extends even more than that. I think that you're getting a lot of people that they see, they see Bernie Sanders, uh, you know his taxing the uh, corporate corporations because they're making too much money, that's unrealistic. But when they see tax, uh, Trump's tax plan, it's a lot more uh, viable and, you know, it's a lot more realistic. And I think that he's kind of taken away, swaying voters away from that crowd. Okay, so here's what we have here, folks. I'm, I'm pretty confident of this. What we have here is someone who likes Trump and is seeing some things that he doesn't believe are being accurately reported in either the news or in polling data. And one of the things is that the excitement level that Democrats have across the board for their candidates is not really what the media would like us to believe. And so I'm, I'm assuming here that what you really think is the media is not giving us the real full story here, that Trump's popularity is much more massive than what it's being said to be, either as reflected in polling data or just the general tenor of uh, of news stories. Well, when you boil it all down, what he's asking here is how many Democrats might be tempted to vote for Trump down the road. And I don't know that that would become relevant until after the primaries are over and Trump actually is the nominee. Uh, in the primary process, there are some open primary states where that could matter and be a factor, but not enough to gauge any kind of, of uh, national indication or activity. Uh, so I, you, the idea that there's not nearly the excitement for Democrat candidates that the media would portray, that, I, that's possible. That's possible. But again, all of it is, is, is supposition uh, right now, or in some cases, gee, I hope this is happening. And if you just hang in there long enough, time will tell. Don't go away. From it.